The theme of today's forum is clean energy and nuclear safety. We need abundant clean energy to mitigate the climate change problem. It is obvious for us that nuclear power is a very good source of abundant clean energy. But most people always concern about nuclear safety because of the exaggerated risks of nuclear power. The first risk is the danger of nuclear accident and the second is the potential hazard of spent nuclear fuel. In fact, however, these risks are not that serious as I will explain in this talk. Thus, I think we should make people first escape from the exaggerated risk uh, in order to expand nuclear power. Uh, unfortunately, the Korean government is pushing the nuclear phase-out policy very strongly. It is not to allow license renewal and new construction of new uh, nuclear power plants. The impacts of the phase-out policy are very serious. The world-leading Korean uh, nuclear manufacturing industry is collapsing very rapidly now and we will lose the abundant clean energy source in near future. This absurd phase-out policy was started by the serious misunderstanding of our President Moon about nuclear safety. He was misled seriously by the anti-nuke people when he was a presidential candidate. After he watched this very fictitious movie, uh, Pandora, which dealt with the nuclear accident initiated by an earthquake, he said, I swept a lot. I hope every Korean sees this movie. His misunderstanding about nuclear safety clearly appeared in an official speech. He said, 1,368 people were dead due to the Fukushima accident, even though Japan was very well prepared for the earthquakes. Nuclear accidents due to earthquake are too fatal. We are no longer safe from earthquake because we had recently an earthquake in Gyeongju. Therefore, for people's safety, we should close all the nuclear power plants. That's what our president said. But he misunderstood the causes of the death and the accident. As shown, uh, As shown, uh, uh, as well known, the direct cause of the Fukushima accident is tsunami, not the earthquake. This figure shows the north uh, eastern coast of, of Japan at the time of Great East Japan earthquake. There are five nuclear uh, power plant sites in the, in the east coast. All the nuclear reactors of the five sites, sites were safely shut down when the earthquake hit. Only the Fukushima Daiichi plant were flooded due to the subsequent tsunami and the accident happened. At the Onagawa site, which is closer to the epicenter, the plant was not, was not damaged. Even the earthquake was stronger and the tsunami was higher. It was because the site was located higher. Although there is a non-trivial uh, earthquake damages at Onagawa site, as shown here, the plant's building well, withstood the earthquake very well. It was an irony that the gym of Onagawa provided the shelter of 300 refugees suffering from the uh, tsunami for three months. Uh, paradoxically, the Onagawa plants proved how well nuclear power plant withstand a very strong earthquake which would be even stronger than the seismic design criteria. Um, there are many other examples uh, of nuclear power plants that survived well from the earthquake, stronger than the design criteria as shown uh, here. In fact, it should be noted that there have been 
Yet, no fatal damage in nuclear power plants due to earthquake in the history of nuclear power operation for more than uh, 60 years by 635 nuclear reactors worldwide. This record clearly shows the robustness of nuclear power plants against uh, earthquake. So people should not worry about the exaggerated risk of the earthquake at, new, uh, at uh, nuclear power plants. Uh, now let me talk about uh, the number of deaths in the Fukushima accident. Unskill, the United Nations Science Committee on, on the Effect of Atomic Radiation is the most authorized body in radiation assessment. They issued a report in 2013 about the health impact of the Fukushima accident. The report indicated that uh, there was no radiation-related deaths or disease among the workers and the general public. And the doses to the general public for, the, for their lifetime is so low that though no radiation-related health effects are expected for the public and their descendants. They indicated that the most important health effect is the mental effect due to fear and stigma. The unskilled conclusion was supported by another report issued by the World Health Organization in 2013. Unskilled confirmed their conclusions in the later reports of 2015, 16, and 17. These are the most authorized report that indicates no radiation-related deaths in Fukushima accident. Unskilled confirmed. What about Chernobyl? Um, how many fatalities? The Unskilled report of the 2008 indicates that only 28 people out of 134 workers dead due to acute radiation syndrome. Uh, there were 6,000 kids who got thyroid cancer after drinking the iodine contaminated milk produced by the cows who had eaten the contaminated grass. Most of them got cured, but 15 kids were dead by year 2005. Therefore, the number of Chernobyl fatalities is only 43. Please note that Chernobyl was the only the only nuclear accident that costed human lives. In the TMI accident, no one was dead. Furthermore, there was no significant release of radioactive materials because of the strong confinement building confined the radioactive materials very well. This was evidenced by, the, by this photo showing President Jimmy Carter visiting the control room four days after the accident without any protective equipment. It turned out that uh, the in inevitable release of the radioactive inert gases re resulted only 0.1 millisievert of those, which is equivalent to one X-ray exposure. Because the environment was un unaffected, despite of the core melt in TMI-2, its twin plant, TMI-1, was able to be operated for 45 years without any problem until it was shut down in 2019. This graph shows the nuclear power reactor operation history of the world. There have been 635 reactors connected to the grid for more than 60 years since 1954. Currently, there are 443 reactors operating and so far 18,833 reactor years were recorded. 
The nuclear electricity generation was about 10,000 gigawatt years. With the 43 deaths recorded only in Chernobyl, Um, the death rate of nuclear power is only 0 0.0043 per gigawatt year, which is extremely low. This long operation history of, the, of nuclear power proves the very high life safety of nuclear power. This is a clear counterexample of uh, people's perception that nuclear power, ac nuclear accidents are dangerous to human life. Now let me turn to the spent fuel issue. My claim is that safe disposal of spent nuclear fuel is possible with the current technology. The first step is to confine the nu spent nuclear fuel in 5 cm thick uh, copper container Copper is a uh, highly corrosion resistant material, uh, material. The container is then buried in 500 meter deep bedrock, which lacks oxygen and underground water. The surrounding of a copper container is filled with bentonite clay, which is a very effective waterproofing material. So the copper container, bentonite clay, and the water and oxygen lacking deep underground environment can keep where well, the spent nuclear fuel from being transported by water to the surface. There are three kinds of materials in spent fuel. The first one, which takes about 95%, is uranium, which is out of a hazard concern. The second is highly radioactive fission product, which takes about 4%. The third one is transuranic, which takes about 1%. Most of the transuranic materials is plutonium. The fission product are chemically uh, active and it migrates well in water, so they have to be strictly managed not to be released to the environment. But they decay relatively fast so that the biological hazard of the fission product dropped to the level of uranium in about 300 years. So thorough management uh, of waste for about 300 years is absolutely necessary. The transuranic materials decay very slowly so that the biological hazard can last longer than 100,000 years. Anti-new people claim that and Proper management of spent fuel for 100,000 years is not possible. This is another exaggerated risk of uh, nuclear power. It is because, uh, it is exaggerated because the solubility of plutonium, which takes the most portion of TRUs, becomes very low in deep underground condition where reduction uh, occurs due to the lack of hydrogen, uh, lack of oxygen. Normally, plutonium exists in the surface as oxide with the oxygen num uh, oxidation number 5. But in the oxygen-lacking environment, its oxygen number drops to 4, and the solub solubility of plutonium ion is drastically reduced, like this, by uh, order of 7. This low solubility of plutonium in oxygen lacking environment is one of the reasons why deep underground disposal is necessary. If plutonium cannot be dissolved, it can exist only as a particulate matter in, in the water. The particulates cannot move long distance because they are removed by adsorption in the large environment. The limited migration of TLUs due to the adsorption was actually confirmed by natural nuclear reactor remnant found in the Okla region in Gabon, Africa. The TLU and the long-lived long fission product found in this site 
indicate that there was natural fission reactors operated in this region, but the TRUs are found within a few meters of formation. This demonstrates the very limited migrability of TRUs. Uh, these are the examples of examples to de demonstrate the corrosion resistance of copper. The Barsa cannon was salvaged from a sunken Swedish ship after 333 years, 33 years later. The corrosion rate of copper in the cannon and the coins was measured 0.1 micrometers per year. It is extremely low uh, corrosion rate considering the seawater environment. It means that one centimeter thick copper can last 10,000 years. This is the reason why spent fuel container is made of five, cent five centimeter thick copper, although the copper is very expensive and the required amount uh, is much. Because the safety of spent fuel disposal had been confirmed, a repository site is actually under construction in Onkala, Finland, with the target operation date of uh, 2023. And last October in Sweden, the repository construction plan was accepted by the Ostama Municipal Council. So another repository will be soon constructed in Scandinavia. These two repository examples show that the spent nuclear fuel problem can be solved with the current technology. Now, uh, research is going on to find alternative material to replace the expensive copper in the container. Now, uh, let me uh, mention shortly about the intentional inciting of radiophobia by anti-nukes. A famous anti-nuke activist in Korea claimed that fish from Fukushima is, contains 40 times more cesium than fish caught in the Korean domestic coast. But he did not uh, tell, the, tell that those fish those fish uh, commonly contain the same amount of potassium, large amount of potassium. It was an intentional cheating. We pointed out this problem so that his incitement was nullified. Our effort to find against the uh, intentional fight against the intentional exaggeration of radioactivity hazard continued with easy comparisons. When they uh, raised the annual resident dose issue of tritium at the Walsam Kend site, one of our professors reacted with an example of six bananas per year so that people could be relieved from the incited worries and do not pay excessive attention to the tritium issue. Uh, with our continued effort to correct the exaggerated risks of nuclear power and radiation, the people's acceptance of nuclear power has, has been improved during the last three years of a nuclear phase-out. Korean people are in favor of nuclear power by about 70 to 25 ratio. It is viewed as a paradox of a nuclear phase-out in Korea. One interesting thing to note is that even the people whose political stance is progressive are in favor of nuclear by 63 to 28, a factor of 2.2. Uh, conservative people obviously support nuclear with much higher ratio, 79 to 12. Now let me summarize. The high uh, life safety of nuclear power has been proved by the long operation history of nuclear power plants. 43 deaths occurred in only one nuclear accident, Chernobyl, while uh, more than 18,000 reactor years have been recorded. 
earthquake only was never, ha have been never fatal to nuclear power plants. In the worst case, of a core melt, radioactive materials can be confined well in the containment as proved by TMI-2. Safe disposal of nuclear uh, spent fuel is possible even with the current technology. For 300 years, for which fission products are important, it is for sure that the copper container will block the leak of spent fuel very well. It should be noted that plutonium has much low uh, solubility in deep underground environment which lacks oxygen and underground water. Fight against uh, radiophobia and the exaggerated risk of nuclear power can improve public acceptance. Thank you for uh, your attention.